I want to really start with uh, uh, the tweet by that I came across this morning from the principal scientific advisor to the government, which is uh, Dr. K. Uh, Vijay Raghavan. And he very importantly said that whether vaccinated or not, masks, physical distancing, and ventilation, these interventions are also immediately critical for lowering pressures on the healthcare systems during this surge. Adherence is essential at the personal and community levels, full stop by all, full stop. Dr. Tiku, let me start with you. It seems that after masks and social distancing, now we have a third rule that people must necessarily, necessarily uh, follow to duck this virus. Clearly this new addition, which is ventilation, uh, is now, uh, you know, uh, act because of the air transmission of the virus. Well, all along, we've been saying that um, follow the COVID appropriate behavior, which basically was physical distancing, wearing masks and washing hands. But ventilation also is very, very important because now there's increasing evidence that uh, the virus can be in the air. These aerosols, when you cough or sneeze in closed environments, places where there's not enough ventilation, small rooms or big buildings where there's centralized air conditioning, the virus can be in the air for a while. And if you happen to be there, if you don't have protection, you're not wearing a mask, you can inhale the air and get infected. So this is the latest study which has come from Lancet also. And all along, that we've been saying that it does remain. It's not only a droplet infection. Earlier, we thought it was just a droplet infection that if you're in the vicinity of somebody who's infected and if he coughs or sneezes and within six feet of distance, you get it. But now there's increasing evidence that the particles do remain suspended in the air, these aerosols, which are very minute particles for maybe half an hour to two hours. And if they remain suspended in the air and if you're in a small room where there are a lot of people, closely congested spaces, small buildings, small rooms where there's not enough ventilation, so you can get infected. That's why we're seeing increasing number of people getting infected, the entire households getting infected, the buildings getting infected, becoming containment zones. We've seen yeah. that. And even now, the, uh, those houses where people haven't stepped out and uh, they also got infected, probably somebody has stepped out, come inside and they're not wearing masks. And that's why uh, now they say that you should wear masks even inside your house. If somebody, your staff or family member goes out, comes inside, maybe he's catching the infection or potentially asymptomatic, but carrying the virus can give it to you. So ventilation is very, very important. So keep your doors, windows open inside your house, even in those offices where there's not enough ventilation, centralized air conditioners are on, wear a mask. And even while having food or having your tea or coffee or whatever, be very, very careful. Avoid as much as possible. But having said that, uh, wearing a mask is still the most important thing, I would say. And people are not doing it properly, not doing it religiously. Even now, if you see, the masks are hanging uh, below the nose, below the cheek, and they're, they're not doing it properly. And uh, there's enough evidence which says that you won't catch infection if you wear the mask properly, especially double masking, which is very, very important now because this mm. particular strain is very, very contagious. It's very infectious. So even when after having worn a mask, people are still getting infected. Doctors are getting infected in spite of wearing PPEs and masks and whatever protection they use so it becomes all the more important the moment you step out of the house wear double masks and try to maintain as much distance as possible and yes definitely ventilation has become important now more so since this virus tends to be in the air for a while and a lot of people are getting infected at the same time so i would agree apart from physical distancing wearing masks this is very very important ventilation